Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome viewers to the NPTEL lecture series on the calculus of variations. This is the 18th lecture of the series. We recall that in the last lecture we started with sufficient conditions on the integrand of the uh, functional which we have been considering and uh, we obtained Jacobi's equation uh, which ensures that uh, we have central field at the point A. Uh, of the extremal and uh, we, that extremal which we are testing whether it gives us the optimal value of the functional. We would like to see that the point B is uh, within the central field that means uh, around B uh, the extremals do not intersect. So, th uh, that is the condition which is known as Jacobi's condition. So, we started in the last lecture with uh, the brief introduction to the notion of minima maxima of a function where we consider uh, the case where uh, in the, uh, the function f is defined on the interval x 1 to x 2 into r uh, sufficiently smooth. So, that uh, whatever derivatives we are considering on f are continuous. So, we can expand this uh, f x uh, in any at any interior point x in the interval x 1 to x 2. So, we consider this point x 3 here. So, supposing we expand this around x 3 like this. So, all the derivatives will be evaluated at x 3. So, f of x 3 plus h would can be written as f of x 3 plus f prime x 3 and into x 3 minus h and f double prime at x 3 upon factorial 2 x 3 minus h square and so on. So, here if we have minimum at this point x 3 which is an interior point of the interval then we can see that around this point uh, this is the uh, like you have cup kind of uh, figure here and similarly if x 3 at x 3 uh, which is an interior point of the interval x 1 x 2 if at that point if the local maximum is there then we have this inverted cup kind of a thing shape of the curve around uh, this x 3. So, we can see that in the neighboring point here uh, f uh, in the case of minimum at x 3 uh, f at uh, x 3 plus h where h is small may be positive or negative. If it is positive we are on the right of x 3, if h is negative we are on the left of uh, x 3 and so those values should have be more than the value at f of uh, x 3. So, here we have f of x 3 greater than equal to f, uh, f of x must be greater than equal to f of x 3 for any x in a small neighborhood around this x 3 that is x 3 minus epsilon to x 3 plus epsilon. Similarly, here f of uh, x around this x 3 must be uh, uh, more uh, than uh, f of x must be uh, less than the value at f of x 3 which should be the maximum uh, in the neighborhood around this x point x 3 that is x 3 minus epsilon to x 3 plus epsilon in case of maximum at uh, x 3. So, uh, if we uh, look at the expansion f of x 3 plus h minus f of x 3 which is uh, prime at x 3 x 3 minus h plus f double prime at x 3 upon factorial 2 x 3 minus h whole square and so on. Then we see that uh, this left hand side should have same sign in the neighborhood of x 3. So, therefore, if this f prime x 3 is not 0, we see that this term uh, for a small h uh, this is the dominating term and the sign of the left hand side will be actually sign of the first term on the right hand side and therefore, if f prime at x 3 is not 0 it changes sign and there uh, which uh, then the condition of minimality or maximality at x 3 is violated. So, the necessary condition is that a prime at x 3 must be 0 and then we uh, see the sign of uh, this 
uh, left hand side equal to the sign of the next term non zero term if f double prime at x 3 is not 0 then uh, we see that since x 3 minus h square is coming which is always non negative here. So, the sign of the left hand side will be determined by uh, sign of f double prime at x 3 for small values of h. And so, uh, we see that the testing of uh, the sufficient conditions uh, for the minima or maxima at x 3 are uh, given by that f double derivative f prime f double prime at x 3. If it is positive, then we see that we get minimum at x 3. If f double prime at x 3 is negative, then we get maximum. So, the similar concept we would be actually establishing for the functional. So, here uh, f prime at x 3 being 0 is equivalent to in the case of functional that the first variation that is a delta a small delta i is 0, which we had uh, got earlier and this condition implies that f y minus d by d x f y prime equal to 0. That is Euler's equation is the necessary condition here. And so, solving that uh, equation because the second order equation, uh, second order ordinary differential equation in y. So, it will have solution involving two arbitrary constants. And uh, if we see that the point A is fixed, then we can uh, we can determine one of these two constants and then we get one parameter subfamily of the extremals and then we defined the concept of uh, fields various fields here if the extremals in region d do not intersect at all such a field is called a uh, proper field and if they intersect at one point and nowhere else then it is called central field and the point where all these extremals intersect is called the center of the field. And uh, we had considered these examples like y equal to c sin x here at the origin that uh, all the uh, extremals uh, here all the curves uh, intersect here and then next they intersect like uh, 0 pi on the right or uh, 0 minus pi on the left. And so, if we have uh, this a small number around 0, then in that it is a central field provided pi or minus pi are not there, uh, 0 pi or 0 minus pi are not there in the domain. So, it forms a central field uh, in the small number around 0, the origin. Now, we considered the functional i y, which is x 1 to x 2 f of x y y prime d x and we consider its uh, values only uh, on uh, extremals like uh, we solved uh, this equation here. In this case, in the function case, we solve this f prime at x 3 equal to 0. So, all those x 3 we satisfy this are called critical points. So, here uh, like that they are called extremals which are satisfying uh, Euler's equation. And so, uh, we have uh, taken that the point a is fixed. So, all these extremals are passing through this point and uh, we are looking for uh, that ex uh, extremal here uh, for on which this uh, functional has optimal value whether min uh, minimum or maximum will we will be getting certain conditions sufficient conditions to determine uh, whether i y is, um, is having maximum value or minimum value. So, we considered here uh, this family and we want to see that this given extremal whether this uh, which is y x equal to y x c 0. So, c 0 is a fixed constant parameter uh, value of the parameter c. So, that this a the extremal passing through a and b whether it optimizes no or not that is what we would like to see. So, here first thing is that like uh, that point x 3 was in an interior point. Similarly, here this extremal should be an interior extremal that on the left side or right side or above or below of this uh, functional uh, this extremal uh, there should be other extremals as well. So, this extremal should not be uh, on the boundary of the region. So, that is one condition which is required and then we solve uh, this y equal to y x c and del y over del c x c to get uh, the c is called c 
discriminant curve. So, we find the C discriminant curve. So, that includes this point A x 1 y 1, because here we have seen that at x 1, uh, this y of x 1, because it is on the extremal. So, it satisfies that and uh, del y over del c, because uh, all the extremals are passing through that. So, it is a, a fixed number y 2 and therefore, del y over del c uh, x 1 comma c will be 0. So, a is there in, on that uh, c discriminant curve and the envelope of this family of y x uh, envelope of the family of these extremals is also a c discriminant curve and the picture is like this. Uh, here we take various extremals and the points uh, which are there on the extremal like one A is there and then another one which is there on the extremal as well as on the uh, envelope that we denoted uh, the conjugate point of A. Uh, it is denoted as A star C 1 like C is taking various values. So, we get different extremals. So, correspondingly we get a point on the envelope and so that is called, uh, so A star C is called the conjugate of A. And so, the condition is, uh, sufficient condition is that uh, which we had seen that the point B should be, uh, this point B uh, should be there on the uh, arc, on the part of the extremal uh, passing through A and uh, A star C. So, that this point B should be uh, there prior to this point A star C. And if it is after that A star C, then we see that around A star C various uh, or around that uh, in the neighborhood of B, uh, there are various extremals intersect each other. And so, uh, the condition that it is a central field is violated. That means, the Jacobi condition is not satisfied there. So, we have to see that the Jacobi condition is fulfilled in order to retain the nature of uh, central field. So, that is what is now mathematically derived like this, we uh, differentiate the, uh, we differentiate Euler's equation partially with respect to C and see that uh, we get here uh, finally, this equation that f y y minus d by d x f y y prime uh, times u minus d by d x f y prime y prime u prime equal to 0. So, this equation 17.5 which was derived last time is known as Jacobi's equation and so, we solve this and get u and we know that it uh, use uh, equal to 0 at uh, a and then we see that whether u vanishes anywhere on the interval x 1 to x 2. So, if uh, u is not 0 on uh, this open interval x 1 uh, to x 2, then we see that Jacobi's condition is fulfilled uh, on that interval. Uh, here, we will consider various examples. Uh, on this concept. So, let us take this example. So, here this functional i y is given as integral over x 1 to x 2 y prime square minus y square d x and y at x 1 is 0 and y at x 2 is also 0. So, we see that here f is x y y prime is y prime square minus y square and Euler's equation f y minus d by d x of f y prime equal to 0 implies that minus 2 y minus d by d x of 2 y prime equal to 0 or this implies that uh, y double prime plus y equal to 0 and so we get y x equal to a cos x plus b sin x. Let us not use a here. So, we get 
y x equal to alpha cos x plus beta sin x. So, here now this condition that y at x 1 is 0 implies that one of the constants will be determined. So, y x will be uh, like some constant c sin of x minus x 1. So, that is what we see that the solution of this will be one parameter family of curves given by this. And here we see that and then in this y x will also vanish at. So, next y x will be 0 at uh, x equal to x 1 plus pi. So, this x 2 if 0 less than x 2 is or rather x 1 less than x 2 is x 1 plus pi we see that we have a central field like this we had seen earlier here x 1 is there and then we have this x 1 plus pi here and these curves are going like this and if x 2 is before here then we see that it forms a central field and if x 2 is greater than x 1 plus pi then Jacobi's condition Jacobi's condition is violated. So, this also can be seen from here we form. So, let us look at the Jacobi's equation in this case. is so the jacobi's equation is f y y minus d by d x of f y y prime times u minus d by d x of f y prime y prime u prime equal to 0. So, here f in this case we have f is y prime square minus y square. So, f y y gives you minus 2 and this f y prime y will be 0 and so minus 2 times u and minus d by d x of f y prime y prime is again 2 here and u prime so, this is what we get here which gives us u double prime plus u equal to 0 and we get this implies that u x is again like alpha sin x plus beta alpha cos x anyway we can write in any way alpha cos x plus beta sin x and here we know that u at x 1 must be 0, uh, because uh, the condition is that uh, here uh, all the extremals pass through that uh, a uh, which is x 1 y 1 and uh, x 1 y 1 is uh, here. So, x 1 y 1 is actually x 1 0 here and so we get u x 1 equal to 0 implies that u x as before it should be some constant times sin of x minus x 1. So, in the same manner here uh, u vanishes at, so u uh, then x equal to 0 for x greater than x 1 implies that x must be equal to x 1 plus 
and pi. And so, uh, the first 0 will be the first, the first next 0 to x equal to x 1 is x equal to x 1 plus pi. So, we get then uh, hence we must have that x 2 which is of course, greater than x 1 uh, it should be less than x 1 plus pi. So, the, our interval should be such that it should not contain uh, x 1 uh, plus pi. This interval x 1 to x 2 should not contain the uh, point x 1 plus pi. If it contains if x 2 is larger than this then obviously, Jacobi's condition is uh, violated. Now, the next example we have this functional i y equal to x 1 to x 2 integral y prime square plus y square plus x square d x. Here y at x 1 equal to 0, again we take y at x 2 equal to 0. So, the points a and b are on the x axis and here. So, the Jacobi's equation, so f y y minus d by d x of f y y prime u minus d by d x of f y prime y prime u prime equal to 0 for f equal to y prime square plus y square plus x square reduces to this gives us 2 y sorry 2 and this is 0 and uh, you get so 2 u here minus uh, d by d x. So, I can remove this bracket here 2 u minus d by d x of uh, this again 2 u prime equal to 0. So, we get here u u double prime minus u equal to 0, which has solution u x equal to uh, you can write in uh, hyperbolic form uh, or you can write it like this that u x is c 1 e to the power x plus c 2 e to the power minus x. So, u at x 1 is 0 implies that c 1 e to the power x 1 plus c 2 e to the power minus x 1 equal to 0. This implies that c 1 over c 2 equal to minus e to the power minus 2 x 1. And so, you get u x equal to which is c 1 e to the power x plus c 2 e to the power minus x becomes c 1 e to the power e to the power x minus x 1 and with the minus sign here and minus e, e to the power minus x minus x 1 and so you multiply by 2 and divide by 2 here this is plus sign. So, we can take uh, minus of uh, also out and adjust it in this. So, we get u x equal to some constant c uh, sin hyperbolic x minus x 1. So, that is the solution, uh, solution of this Jacobi's equation and it uh, vanishes. So, u uh, x 
of course, u x 1 uh, equal to 0 and u x is not equal to 0 for all x greater than x 1. So, Jacobi's condition is verified, very, uh, is fulfilled. is satisfied everywhere on the right of x equal to x 1. So, here uh, it forms a central field everywhere. Then the next what we would like to see that uh, once the Jacobi's condition is uh, satisfied, you would like to get some other conditions, sufficient condition uh, which will ensure us uh, the, uh, the sufficient conditions, so that uh, the functional will have minimum or maximum, we will be able to conclude uh, using that sufficient condition. So, we uh, construct a function which is called Weierstrass function. Where stress function, which is function of the variables x, y, y prime, and p, will explain what is this p in a moment. So we have here i, y, which is x one to x two f of x, y x, y prime x, d x. Now, here we are taking it on the extremals only that i, y, c here. So, if we take uh, this extremal which is what we are testing that is y x. So, here we have situation already explained like that, that this is the point a x 1 y 1 and then we have the various extremals like this and then this y x here is actually y x c 0. So, here uh, this less space uh, let me make it slightly bigger here. So, this is the point A and this point B and this is the curve y x which is y x c 0. So, if fixed value of the parameter c uh, we have uh, this a b uh, the uh, the extremal passing through these two points denoted by y x and we want to test whether this uh, extremal uh, actually uh, extremizes gives you the minimum value of uh, i or the maximum value of i. So, that is what we would like to see, we would like to get sufficient conditions so that we can uh, using that sufficient condition we can ensure that the functional i uh, y takes the maximum value or minimum value for this uh, functional which is given by y x uh, with this extremal given by y x which is y x in uh, comma c 0. So, this uh, on uh, this this y prime we will denote as p to distinguish between any curve uh, joining these two points. Let us say this is uh, the another uh, this is some curve y tilde x, it is not an extremal, it is any curve, uh, permissible curve uh, joining these two points A and B. So, like that we will have, so uh, we will denote this by gamma 0 and this general curve gamma like this. So, this extremal joining this these points A and B, so from A to B we will denote it as gamma 0 and any other admissible curve uh, joining these two points A and B 
it need not be an extremal, we will denote it by gamma. So, we will have uh, this i y x 0 on gamma 0, uh, which is f x y and p and d x. And on any other curve, this i y tilde, which is then on a gamma uh, f of x y y prime d x. Now, recall that when we considered uh, this, uh, so on uh, y, if we fix this y x as which is y x c 0, uh, then then this functional i y is a function now of uh, this point x 2 y 2, because now y is fixed and only uh, the point uh, x 2 y 2 is changing. So, this is a uh, function like this. So, this i uh, let us say this is y and then it is like this uh, x 2 y 2, which is here you have x 1, which is x 1 y 1 is fixed and only x 2 y 2 is changing. So, that is f of x y x c 0 and that is uh, your p on y prime we are denoting this as p x which is same thing as p x c 0 d x. And we have seen that on this uh, the variation uh, delta since the here is a function now. So, this delta i y uh, will be uh, denoted as d i. So, here to distinguish it from the other uh, functional we will write it as i 0. So, d, uh, this d i 0 and d i 0 we know that it will be f minus y prime f y prime rather y prime is p here f p and uh, delta. Uh, so, delta x 2 will be written as d x 2. So, this is the point. So, x 1, so this is a function of x 2 y 2. So, that is f minus p f p of uh, d x 2 plus f p d y 2. This we had derived earlier. This follows from this follows from our from the earlier one which we had got the delta i y was f minus y prime f y prime delta x 2 plus f this was evaluated at x 2 and then uh, f y prime delta y 2 derived earlier. Here uh, this since only uh, the point b is moving and therefore, uh, this variation this uh, functional becomes now function which we denote by i uh, 0. And so, we have this uh, variation becomes then as usual when it is a function we denote it by the differential and so we get differential uh, d i 0 at x 2 y 2 uh, f minus uh, this of course, is evaluated at uh, this x equal to x 2 this also at x equal to x 2. 
Now, here uh, for general x y, so for general x y on uh, y x, we have this differential d uh, i 0 at x y will be f minus uh, p f p evaluated x at x y general x y uh, d x plus f p d y. So, we see that this is a total differential the right. Uh, so, uh, this f minus p f p d x plus f p d y it is exact differential the total differential of d i 0 And so, uh, it so its integral is path independent to so, thus hence this integral over any curve gamma of this f minus p f p d x plus f p d y is same thing as integral over gamma 0, because uh, gamma and uh, gamma 0 are joining those two points a and b. So, it will be same thing as f minus p f p d x plus f p d y, but on this we see that on gamma 0 it is f minus p f p d x. So, we take uh, on that curve gamma 0 we see that this we get d x taking out. So, plus uh, d y by uh, d x here is p and so this is p f p uh, d x and so this gives us. So, this cancels here and so we get on gamma 0 this is f uh, d x that is f x y p d x on this. So, uh, therefore, hence this increment delta i y will be then over this curve gamma f of x y y prime d x minus over gamma 0 f x y here of course, it is p uh, d x. And so, this is gamma f x y y prime d x and this is on the this gamma 0 can then be written as on gamma of this f minus p f p d x and then plus f p d y like this and so this will be then here it can be written as like this f of x y y prime minus this is f x y p and minus y prime minus p f p here we get this functional d x. So, here on the gamma this is uh, f uh, y x y that is what we will get here y prime here. 
So, this is actually over this which is w x y y prime p d x which is the virus stress function is given by f x y y prime minus f x y p minus y prime minus p to f p x y p. Now, here we see that this. So, if uh, delta i uh, is so here we get delta i uh, of y as integral over this gamma of w x y uh, y prime p d x. Now, uh, w is 0 on because there uh, w equal to x y y prime p is 0 on y x which is y x c 0 because here y prime is p. So, we see that this y prime we equal to uh, p. So, this term will be 0 and here also y prime will be p. So, this term will be and these two terms will be equal and they will be cancelling. So, this uh, w equal to 0 on this and, and now if w is greater than equal to 0 then uh, in the neighborhood of so, if w is 0 where uh, w is greater than 0 for all y prime then we see that delta i y will be greater than 0. So, in the neighborhood of this uh, y we will have strong maximum sorry strong minimum like the second order variation we have uh, that uh, is uh, positive uh, second derivative is greater than equal to 0 we get here uh, minimum and so in this case if delta i y is greater than 0 because here uh, then in the neighborhood you will have it is like this here you have least value and here in the up it goes. Uh, so, the difference here will be positive. So, delta i is greater than equal to 0 we get the minimum and it is independent of y whether y prime independent of y prime whether y prime is close to p or not because then as we had defined earlier. Uh, so, it is in the 0 order of proximity and so we say that the minimum achieved is strong. Now, if w greater than equal to 0 uh, for uh, y prime close to p then we get weak minimum. Similarly, if w is less than equal to 0 for all y prime we get strong maximum and if this is if w is less than equal to 0 for y prime close to p then we get weak maximum. So, that is the uh, case here and so let us see the examples now. This would be now. So, now let us consider this i y equal to x 1 to x 2 y prime q d x. We see that here it is a function of uh, y prime only 
So, the extremals are and the conditions let us say y at x 1 is 0 and y at x 2 is y 2, we take this to be positive and 0 less than x 1 less than x 2. So, the extremals here are straight lines y equal to something like alpha x plus beta and y at x 1 0 implies that y equal to c x minus x 1 and here it is y 2. So, you get y equal to uh, y 2 over x 2 minus x 1 into x minus x 1. So, the situation here is like this, these are this is the point x 1 and x 2 here. So, these straight lines form the central field here and So, let us say uh, here x 2 b is here that is x 2 y 2 and y 2 is taken to be positive here. So, it is here somewhere. Now, uh, here uh, the y strass function w x y y prime p is f x y y prime minus f x y p minus y prime minus p f p x y p. So, this comes out to be this is y prime cube minus now y prime is to be replaced by p. So, we get p cube and then uh, y prime minus p into f p means 3 y uh, 3 p square into 3 p square. So, let us say minus 3 p square. So, here we see that we get w equal to So, this can be seen that it is y prime q minus 3 y prime p square plus 2 p cube. So, let us put it as 1 and then if we look at this y prime minus p square into y prime plus 2 p, this comes out to be y prime square plus p square minus 2 y prime p into y prime plus 2 p and this is then finally, y prime q minus 3 y prime p square plus 2 p. So, this is let me put it as 18.4 and this as 18.5. So, from 18.4 and 18.5, we get that w equal to y prime minus p whole square to y prime plus 2 p. So, here since p is since p which is y 2 over x 2 minus x 1 is positive. So, if y prime is close to p then w is greater than equal to 0 and so we have weak minimum here. 
and the next example you consider this i y equal to integral x 1 to x 2 6 y prime square minus y prime to the power 4 plus y y prime d x. Here again we have y of x 1 equal to 0 and y at x 2 equal to y 2 we take positive and 0 less than x 1 less than x 2. Here we have uh, to find first the extremals. Uh, so, here f is 6 y prime square minus y prime 4 plus y y prime and so f y minus d by d x of f y prime equal to 0 implies that y double prime into 1 minus y prime square equal to 0. Since this is not 0, so this implies that y double prime equal to 0. So, y x equal to alpha x plus beta the family of straight lines. So, y at x 1 equal to 0 implies that now we get y x equal to so c x minus x 1 and uh, passing through uh, this so, y at x 2 equal to y 2 implies that y x equal to y 2 over x 2 minus x 1 into x minus x 1, which is already depicted in the previous example. And here we see that now this virus stress function here is y x y w x y uh, y prime p, which is f x y y prime minus f x y p minus y prime minus p f p x y p, which gives us now in this case 6 y prime square minus y prime 4 plus y y prime minus 6 p square plus p to the power 4 minus y p. Now, we will see that we will actually get a quadratic equation in that and seeing the roots of that equation we will be able to conclude in which region we have a strong minimum, a strong maximum, weak mix, uh, maximum or weak minimum that we will uh, be discussing in the next class. Thank you very much for your attention please.